Hello. This program is about Python lists. We're going to generate a list of random test scores. We're, uh, and these test scores are going to range between 50 and 100. We're going to use the random module to do that. Once we get that list, we're going to pass it to another function. We'll process the list inside that other function to determine the highest score, which we will return back to main and then print that out in main. So here we go. First of all, we're importing random as R. We're using an alias R so that we don't have to write in random just to save a little bit of screen real estate. And then we're going to create an empty list called tests. The square brackets means that's going to be an empty list. Then we're going to create 10 random uh, test scores. So we're going to run uh, a loop, a for loop with range value of 10. We know that's going to run 10 times. And what we're going to do inside that loop is we're going to use the random modules randint function to generate a random test score between 50 and 100. That's inclusive. We could get a 50 and we could get a 100. That'll be assigned to a variable called rand, which we will then append onto the end of our list. Uh, our list called test has uh, an, it's an object and it has a method called append, which we can use to append a, a value onto the end of the list. Now, here we have a, 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 a good comment that you might want to read here. We're going to call this function called func but we're going to embed it inside the print statement. So take a look at this line here. It's an interesting line. We're going to embed the function call of the func function inside the print function. So this will run first, and once it comes up with its return value, it'll become an argument for print. Now let's take a look at the uh, function down here. It's called func, and it's going to take LST as a parameter. Well, that means that tests appear. This is the argument. Well, the argument gets passed into the function where it'll be known as LST. Inside that uh, function, we're going to let the first element be the high score. Okay, now we could use a number less than 50. We could say high equals 49 or something like that because we know we're gonna, not going to have any scores less than 50. But I've chosen to use the first element. Now, we're going to go through that in, in list letting each element be a variable t, and we'll print that out. So we'll print out each score uh, all in one line by using the end operator. But now we want to detect if, as we encounter each score, if it's higher than the high. And if the score is higher than the current value of high, well then that's the new high, and we will assign uh, the value of t to high. We'll finish the line because right here we're not finishing the line, right? We're using the end operator here. So we'll finish the line here and then we'll return the high back to whatever function calls func, which is main, as we can see up here. So let's give it a run and I'm going to run it here in the debugger and it's, it's quite instructive to notice how the list gets generated down here in the locals. So here we go. I'll press step a few times. It's determining what functions are in the program right now. Now it's going to run the main function. Okay, now I'm going to press over repeatedly to run this loop. And I want you to notice what's going on down below in the locals window. Notice the locals window is gradually building our list called tests. You can tell it's a list because of the square brackets. And it's adding random integers each time I press. You can see the count going up the variable i, the value of r and d, and the list is being generated here. And eventually there's going to be 10 of them in there. And now it's finished, and now we're ready to run the uh, this line of code, which is going to actually run the functions, the function func, uh, first. And uh, so let's uh, let's step into that. And now I'm going to press over inside there to see what's going on. Now, notice we have a new list of locals. We have a variable high and a variable LST now. We can't see the tests list because it's out of scope. We can't see it here. It's only visible up here in main. So we'll continue to press over here. And now we're going through to determine what the highest is. Notice the current value of high is 72. We'll go on to the next one, which is so on. 72 is still the highest. We're getting near the end of the list. You can see T is a value of 87, so we're up to here in the list. And if we keep going, 
to 86. And there's the last one, 55. And now that loop is finished and we're going to return the highest. I'll just get this window out of the way here and press over a few more times to finish the program. There it is.